Hi there, my name is Melanie Edmonds and I am the curator of the recent graduates exhibition here at the Affordable Art Fair in Los Angeles. It's the inaugural art fair uh, here in LA and we're really happy to be here working with five recent MFA graduates from various visual arts programs throughout the state of California. Um, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to my show and tell you a bit about myself and the artists that I've been working with. We'll start off kind of by telling you a little bit about the show itself. The show that I've curated this year is called Neoteric. Neoteric is a Latin word for of recent origin. I thought it was very appropriate. It's kind of a play on words for a show that is based upon the work by recent graduates, so newer works by recent graduates, and all of the work is based on a theme of communication and language. So what better way to kind of encompass that by using an interesting uh, word that's of Latin derivative. Um, so the works in um, this corner by an artist named Annie Vaught. Annie Vaught is an Oakland-based artist who's a graduate of Mills College. Annie is very much attracted to the intimacy, thoughtfulness, time, and um, emotion that's evoked through the use of handwritten communication. She's slightly turned off, I think, by the haphazard and arbitrary um, communications that we use to engage with one another today. And so she takes a lot of uh, thought and time to create these beautiful hand-cut paper pieces. This piece in particular is an email correspondence between her and her mother that she hand-wrote on archival paper and then hand-cut using approximately 500 exacto blades, um, knife blades. These works are deliberate and intentional and emotional and just very beautiful and they're intricately crafted in a way that I've never seen really in um, this style or genre before. Annie's got another piece here, which is um, very much a love letter, and some pieces along the side, which make up a uh, series of text messages. A lot of emotion again, a lot of intensity, a lot of really kind of obsessive cutting within these pieces, but they're poignant and they're emotional, and we've gotten some tremendous response to them. We've sold out of the work, and everyone is extremely excited about Andy's practice as an emerging artist here in California. Um, behind me, I've got some beautiful, beautiful works by David Knight, who began his career as a photographer. He's based here in Los Angeles and is a recent graduate of Claremont Graduate School down in Pomona, California, which is about an hour outside of Los Angeles. David takes images and scans them into his computer, and then he takes the scanner apart, reconstructs it, rescans the image, and goes in and manipulates the computer code. So while the show is very much about language and communication, while the other artists use um, a lot of text and languages in their works, David really looks at how we're communicating with technology. And through the manipulation of this computer language, he's able to create these beautiful, linear, saturated, pixelated prints, which are digital screen prints on canvas, and the two metallic C prints on the end are very, very beautiful and very compelling works of art. Christina Andres, so she's a graduate of Cal Art. And her work is right over here on this wall. These are a series of really, really fascinating um, graphite on acrylic canvas pieces. And they, the artist use a lot, utilizes the use of literary text. So she's got this interesting way of kind of layering the graphite writing on top of these spheres that have some symbolic presence in this great abyss of glass space as that falls as the background. The works are extracted from different literary texts on spirituality and metaphysics, and I thought they were a really interesting way to incorporate the use of text and language into the show yet again. So again, this work is by Christina Andres, graduate of CalArts, and she lives and works here in Los Angeles. So on the far wall, we have some really interesting work by an artist named Rachel Foster. Rachel is also um, based in Oakland, California, and her work looks at various modes of communication that we use to engage with one another today. She's got a beautiful piece on the end that's a braille piece that reads, this print depicts another way a single idea can be communicated. Um, next to that print, we've got a really catchy photograph, which kind of um, challenges the way that people would think about art books. This book is really an archive of historical references on prolific artists of our time and culture. And the pieces on the end are very, very interesting. On the top, we've got a piece entitled Beethoven Love Letter 1806, where the artist printed out a um, silk screen image of a Mac computer keyboard. and. On top of that image, she, she inked her fingers and began to type a love letter that Beethoven actually wrote to his mistress on July 6th of 1806. 
and the fingerprints are her keystrokes, typing the letter in its entirety. The piece on the bottom is beautiful and poignant, and it is a quote that Paul McCartney spoke to his wife Linda right before she passed away. The last artist that we've got in our show entitled Neo Terrace is an artist named Mark Taylor. Mark Taylor is also an Oakland-based artist. He's created a really interesting series of uh, box prints, or inkjet prints, and they're in the style or fashion of old LP album covers. He creates his album covers with these really um, retro-style images, and juxtaposed against the image are very catchy, clever, somewhat almost controversial maybe statements that uh, challenge notions about American pop culture and our society today. So it's a really unique mix of image with text and language and then retro image with um, more popular, relevant, contemporary text. And that rounds out our show at the Affordable Art Fair. So again, this is Neo Tarek, the recent graduate show, five phenomenal recent graduates of various visual arts programs throughout California, Mark Taylor, Annie Bott, Rachel E. Foster, Devin Kyle Knight, and Christina Andres. So again, my name is Melanie Edmonds. I am the director of M. Edmonds Associates Art Consulting. If you have any questions, if you'd like to discuss an original commission, or if you'd just like additional information about the artists within this show, you can check out my website. The website is www.edmondsassociates.com. That's E-D-M-U-N-D-S, associates.com. Um, works about the artists will be available if you contact me. And I would love the opportunity to talk more with you about what it is that I do here in Los Angeles. I am a contemporary art dealer, contemporary art writer, and an independent art curator. I specialize in contemporary art of the African diaspora, but I'm really pleased to be engaging artists of various backgrounds um, and styles within this art fair here in Los Angeles this weekend. So thanks for joining us at Neoteric. It was a pleasure.